Hi friends, we're in Idaho today. A lot of people think that Idaho is mostly potato fields, and that may be the case, but what's behind me is definitely not a potato field. Our first location is this waterfall. I feel like it's a Jurassic Park-esque waterfall, and then straight behind me is a bridge that people like to jump off of um, for recreation, not for sad reasons, but for enjoyment reasons. I think they call it base jumping or cliff diving, or what do they call it? Certain death. Certain death. <laughs> Snake River Canyon, which is cut into like potato fields essentially. It's just flatness and all of a sudden there's a canyon cut into the ground. There's no like, it goes up and then you go, oh there's some mountains and things and there's a canyon. It's just, you're driving, it's flat and it I've studied this canyon and an interesting thing that I learned about it is they actually believe at one point the water came all the way up and filled up the entire canyon, which would have made for a much bigger river. I feel like that would have been pretty fantastic to see. called Perrine Cooley Falls and I've never stood behind the waterfall before. It's quite mystical. Sort no of, pun intended. So, sort of over, that wasn't a pun, that was just a straightforward it's, statement. It's mystical. There's mist. mist. Oh, oh, okay, then that was a pun. Well played, Christina. I do my best. Now, I was in sort of the, the magical world in my head, you know what I mean? Yeah. Harry Potter-esque and you're thinking about an actual physical element. There's a mist. Let's just say that. If you stand up under the waterfall and you look up and watch the water come down, it's it almost puts you in a trance. It's a really special thing. This is where we're gonna be eating our dinner. This is Christina. This is our this is our buddy for our trip this time around. This is Katie. And spaghetti, most importantly. And spaghetti, which is a great name for a dog. And I understand you're gonna have another dog named Meatball soon. One day. One, One day. day. Know, soon is an exaggeration. <laughs> hey, soon. In the foreseeable decade. Okay. All right. She's opening a random stranger's car, so that's good. Now we're at our hotel, uh, and I'm excited because it looks interesting. It's called Blue Lakes Inn. There's lots of blue lights, you may have noticed. So my meal tonight was vegetarian, actually by accident. I, I didn't know I was getting a vegetarian meal, but it came out there was tofu and quinoa and avocados. I like knowing that I'm eating healthy food when I travel because it's really easy to not do that. I'm always trying to be more intentional about what I eat. And I find that a good way to go about it is sort of incrementally because it's hard to know all the details of what needs to go into your body when you're just starting to try to figure it out. But Christina, how was your meal? Good. Oh look, Christina. We don't have to sleep together tonight. Yay. Thank God. We're only going to use one of those tonight if you know what I mean. Party. You're sleeping on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're uh, at a coffee shop. We're gonna get some breakfast and coffee. It's a little bit nippy this morning. I'm wearing my Siri Dici Peachy merch for the first time. Sponsor. Because it's been too hot to wear it. I'm very excited about this. Yeah. Notice the peach. I've had Bare Necessities stuck in my head all I, me too. last five minutes. Did you sing it and then I started hearing it? I don't know, did you sing it in and my I head? started hearing it? I think. Who started it? That's the question. I don't know, probably me. Side note, I feel like I am getting sick, so I am going to, I, I've heard that people use this thing called vitamin C, mm -hmm. and that's not me being sarcastic, it's like a little pouch of crack <laughs> cocaine that you put in your drink, and the drink is gross, but I'm gonna do that because I feel like I'm getting ill and I'm not interested in that. If you're getting sick on a tri trip, go find some crack cocaine. Yeah. Make sure it's 
you know, FDA approved them. and I'm not sure if we ever actually mentioned why we are in Idaho. We're actually working with a tourism board for this region of the state and they're sending us to a bunch of different locations. They created the itinerary for us, which is very new. Usually I create the plans and stuff. So it's been kind of nice being able to just be like, yeah, send us and we'll like take pictures and create loads of content. We're at Augur Falls right now, which is there. And then the Snake River is behind us. This is Cooper's favorite part of every adventure. Go on, he gets to go off the leash. James. Christina. Your dog is absolutely insane. We know this. Yes. We just came out of the jungle to climb up to this old car bridge that goes over the Snake River and Cooper, I have it on video on my Instagram stories, Cooper freaking jumped. That's a solid four and a half foot jump. Good job, puppy. Like I had to climb up it. And he just- police dog. I was gonna use his rough wear um, harness thing to pull him up and he scaled it. I want you to see the video. Okay. We're gonna put this rough wear this to, oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> holy crap. He just, he just like leaped into, into your face. Jump, dude. <laughs> You're amazing. You could be an NBA. Now we're at the top of the canyon. We're on the north side of the Perrine Bridge, which is a spectacular bridge that people like to jump off of with parachutes. I don't know if they bungee jump as well. I think they just parachute, right? I feel like if they bungee jump, they would just land in traffic. They would just get yanked back up into traffic. <laughs> so I doubt that they bungee jump. It's a good example of the feats of human engineering when you walk up to a bridge like this. It's quite enormous. Go get it! Jump! Good boy! So this is exciting, we're about to go kayaking. Christina and Katie are putting together their foldable kayaks. I rented a kayak. There's baloney in the back. It's for the dog so that he will stay put and not cause troubles. The river is incredibly calm. It's not crazy flowing, so it should be easy to paddle around, have a good time. Good dog. There you go. <laughs> Cooper got in very easily. He just hopped in. And we're on the Snake River. This is fantastic. I even have a cup holder, and it even matches my cup. I don't know if it's supposed to be a cup holder, but it's perfect. Guys, holy freaking crap. Cooper is being bribed by bologna pieces, but like, it's working. He's, oh geez, there's both, okay. Let's take a pause and see if it continues to work. So this place I just paddled into is called Blue Heart Springs and it is known for very blue and clear water. I can see all the way down to the bottom right now. It's very quiet. I love it. This spot's very blue. Look at that. What is that? Wow. Whoa. What is this? You should have planned that strategy better, Cooper. It's like a little cove up there. This place is amazing. 
I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's a rumbling. I think it's coming out of these rocks. It sounds like a volcano is about to go off. I think I'm going to die. Yesterday was a 10 out of 10 experience. I loved kayaking. Spaghetti freaking killed it. She killed it. She killed She's down there. You did a good job. Yeah. That was her first time kayaking. Cooper's third time kayaking. Spaghetti was just an old pro. Cooper, I think he did a 7 out of 10 on the way there and a 4 out of 10 on the way back, <laughs> which is progress. <laughs> so the first night, we didn't sleep. I didn't sleep as well, but last night I slept super well because I... That was, it was just two hours of exercise. Last night was a good night's sleep. We were a little worried about the scheduling of things. It's mm -hmm. easy to like get caught up in the, the nonsense of getting everything to happen at the right time. Yeah. We're a little worried about that, but it all worked out in the end. It's a good example of how you should not panic about those things and, you know, just kind of go with the flow. Oh yeah. Today we are at Shoshone Falls. The falls are over there. That's going to be in the next video. So, for this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate your face. If you're new around here, comment below, subscribe, do all the things. Turn Check out Katie. Check out Katie. Katie's Instagram is below. She's like an Instagram adventure outdoor advocate goddess. Is that an accurate, <laughs> is that an accurate description? I'll take it. She's got a nice hat with a feather on it. Yeah. She's very creative in ways that we aren't creative. And I have a spaghetti. That's yeah. what we're really here for. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye.